One of the many pests Texas farmers have to attempt to regulate is the fall armyworm. Professor and Texas A&M AgriLife researcher Wenwei Xu is helping farmers identify fall armyworm damage and giving tips on how to manage these pests. Well, this will obviously will lose uh, damaged leaves and also they can feed on tassel, they can feed on uh, ears, so they may cause a uh, 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 severe uh, yield loss. So the leaf feeding holes. Okay, so here is a usually leaf damage caused by foamy worm. Worms cause a lot of damage to your corn and could significantly reduce your yield. The best way to control these pests is through insecticide treatment. What you see here is a, a severe full army worm damage. Uh, they're feeding leaves and uh, we need to uh, scot this uh, insect very carefully because if you don't spray they will feed on leaf and some very susceptible hybrid may lose a tassel so they're not produce good yield so we have to look at this thing very carefully and uh, consult with the RPM agent spray if you need it. There are, there are several very effective uh, uh, insecticides you can spray. With possible damage to leaves, tassels, and ears of corn, the best management practice is to get on top of the problem first thing. Regular field scouting is a key tool in detecting these pests early. Additionally, Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Center publishes trapping counts of fall army worms through the Texas Panhandle Pests blog online. Are fall army worms getting the best of your crop this season, or is there another more prominent pest? Join the conversation with Texas corn producers and farmers across the state.